Hey guys and welcome to my vlog channel. So this is my first episode and it's been something that I've wanted to do for a while but I just hadn't had the pull um, towards doing it and as we'll speak about here, um, some of the reasons why I'm glad I held off doing it for a while because I'm truly doing it now for a greater purpose and I think if I had done it six weeks ago, eight weeks ago, I would have done it with an expectation um, and I would have expected things in return but I'm only doing it now is because I, I want to document my journey and I've I've uncovered a few things over the last two, three weeks um, that have made me jump at wanting to do this with, with a ton of excitement. So why I wanted to do it is I believe um, that I don't want to serve people, I don't want to try and help people, fix people, do anything. Um, I really just want to document my journey um, through uh, my own personal growth, through my business growth, um, fail failures and successes, um, my training, any transformations, my vitality, performance, pretty much every aspect of life. Um, and there's so much going on at the moment um, within my personal growth, which is so, so exciting. And while we have all this stillness that is going on at the moment, I thought that this would be the perfect opportunity to start. Um, and I believe that by serving people is by truly being authentic and an embodiment of myself. And I feel like by documenting the journey, um, is, is the best way that I can do that. Um, so I'm not here to serve. I just want to tell my story. I want to provide a platform for anyone that wants to watch, um, take some tips, get some workouts, get some business advice, whatever it may be, or you just want to watch something on your on your Friday night, then then I'm over the moon. Um, so the, the main areas, I'll be covering everything really, but I guess my main four... Um, titles, headings, I guess you could call it, would be business, um, performance, training, and um, personal growth. So when you talk about business, talking about um, behind the scenes, marketing plans, strategies, failures, successes, coming into meetings with us, um, so much new identity and new branding stuff coming, which is super exciting, which I'm so pumped to bring you on the journey. When we talk about performance and vitality, it's like, for example, I'm thinking about doing a juice cleanse. The reason why is my gut's been really um, irritating me lately and I want to hit the reset button, do a cleanse um, and bounce back and see how I go from that. So performance, you know, what I do from a routine perspective to making sure that I'm executing my days to the best uh, the best that I can. Then you're looking at training. I was training for an Ironman. Um, I started doing some documentary, but didn't really find the consistency with it. But I was doing an Ironman, which has obviously fallen through with all of this stuff, but I'll start training for that up again in three or four months. Um, but coming into workouts in the gym, our live workouts for the DMR, um, and then everything else. Yeah, so I'm really, really excited doing a few things with um, like a few under the tree series, down with the Mr. Kevin Yates down in Terrigal, um, doing some videos with Dan, my mentor, and even just doing some interviews, like going down to Nick Sennon, the legend at, um, down at Terrigal for my haircuts and just having a bit of a chat with him. Um, so I'm really, really excited to, to start this, but I guess I just wanted to touch on my journey over the last two weeks here, being in this period that we are in, um, I've been very, working very, very closely with Dan Ballard. Some of you may know him, some of you may not. Um, and Dan's planted a few seeds on me for a while now, and it's it's now I felt the real urgency to, no, a pull, um, a good pull, a good urgency, good energy to, to work with him. And man, some of the, the transformation that I've made within myself over the last um, two weeks has been has been really incredible um, to find love and stillness and confidence within, within myself. To, to do so many things outside my comfort zone, like doing yoga um, on the boardwalk. Like I was, I've been so afraid what everyone else thinks of me, and that was clearly evident. I was doing yoga on a terrible boardwalk, and was more focused about what everyone else was doing, and it was a huge transformation. Um, started to journal more, a different routine for 
um, my meditations and so much. And what I realized was, and what we realized together was there were so many mental tabs open. I was trying to do so much, but it was really to funnel. It's one thing that I'm trying to do and I'm reading the book at the moment. We'll grab it here. Thank you, Mr. Trini, for giving me this. But the one thing, and it's talking about doing the one thing that knocks over everything else. And I truly believe that my one thing is to be um, an embodiment of me. Because once I'm an embodiment of me, um, it has a huge ripple effect on the people around me. And I can notice that. So one of the things we're working on, on is my values at the moment. Uh, we need values uh, because it's we set the standard at which we live for optimal performance. Going through my value, five values at the moment, working through them, and these aren't locked in for me yet, but it's a process I'm working through. Um, family is my biggest one. Vitality, so performance, energy, optimization um, under the vitality. Um, then we've got humility, so being humble, being okay with where I'm at and knowing where I'm going is far greater and being open to those learnings. That's under humility. Then I've got organization. When I'm organized, I feel things are simple, clearer. I can see where I'm going. Um, and then that ties into to vision as well. I'm a big visionary. I know where I'm going, but I'm, I'm finding the peace and the stillness and the, the joy in where I'm at now. I'm being okay with that because often oh, I found myself, if you had to watch the journey videos that I did for DMR, I was doing, 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 becoming, becoming, becoming. Um, and now it's about really just relaxing and sitting into the space that I'm in now and um, enjoying the journey because, you know, fulfillment and happiness isn't a destination. It is the journey. And um, I thought, yeah, you know, this is the perfect time to be able to document this and share this journey with you all. So um, it would mean the absolute world to me if you are watching this to subscribe down below um, and flick me any feedback flick me anything you would like to see, any people you'd like me to interview or sit down with. Um, and I can't wait to be able to just document my journey and be completely transparent with you guys. Um, and you guys can take away whatever you want. Um, if it's just something that you guys like to watch, um, then, then that's great as well. So thanks guys for tuning in to episode one of my vlog, my welcoming vlog one doing it. And uh, I guess the things that you can see from me um, and expect from me moving forward with this channel. Thanks guys.